or do I want to wild out on that Casa Amiga? Hi everyone and welcome to another weekly vlog. Today is Monday. It is 7 o'clock. I am dusty, crusty. We just... And when I say crusty, I literally mean like crusty, like not my camera dying and unprepared. Uh, just un momento. Okay, back and better. So like I was saying, crusty. Um, I've been working all day because I just got back, y'all know, from Mexico yesterday. So yeah, I'm just trying to get some work done because I have, I'm, I'm just, you know, the last two vlogs I feel like have been very chaotic. And this one is unfortunately gonna be nothing different. So yeah, I have to take my tape-ins down. Like they're just not giving. So things on the agenda, we have to take my tape-ins down. I have to wash, deep condition, treat my hair, all that jazz. I've had these extensions in for a little over a month. So it's gonna be good, good to see like what we're working with under here. I'm so sunburnt, so I'm about to get in my shower and soak and exfoliate and just try. Like I said, like my forehead is already starting to peel. It literally looks like I have like hella bronzer right here and like nothing and like concealer in the middle of my forehead. But no, that's just the way my skin tans. I don't know. So I have to do that. I need to exfoliate my entire body. I'm going to do a face mask. We're just going to get ourselves together. Um, I was supposed to drive to my mom's to go get Theo tonight, but I think we're just going to do that tomorrow just because I'm not in the mood and I still have a little bit of work left to do. So yeah, but I'm going to let you guys watch me take my tapings and stuff down because I feel like a lot of people are interested. Um, we get our nails done tomorrow. I am no longer, I'm not doing this long nail shape. I think I'm going to go to my natural nail. I'm just going to have her file them, add a tip on the one that's broken because I don't know if you guys can see, they look gross under here, but my nails are like pretty long. So I'm just gonna have her shape them for me and just do like an overlay with s, &S. Cause this like long, long, I just, I'm over it. Like I really am, it was fun. It was a cute run. Um, and the only reason I'm doing my natural nails cause it's actually grown out a lot. So that's why I'm gonna do that instead of like my short um, French. Cause that's what I was gonna do. Um, we get our hair done on Thursday. Wednesday, we go to Jacksonville, come back Thursday, straight from the flight, going to go get my hair done. Um, then that night, me and Kyra have dinner. This is a very jam packed week. And then, yeah, I hop on a flight next Monday. So I have a lot of videos, content that I have to get done this week. Um, I'm looking at my pitch tracker right now. You know what's crazy? As you know, you got folks, and this is no shade to nobody, but you got folks who only make content when they got sponsorships. But then, like, somebody said that to me, that, oh, you only make a video when it's sponsored. No, I was gonna make this video anyways. I'm just so booked and busy that I'm able to literally put a sponsorship in every single video, when it makes sense, obviously. Um, so no, I, I would be making my content anyways. Especially, like, that montage, literally just pulled please tell me i don't have another gap this is sick like i don't know what's wrong with my eyelashes bro anyways so i'm looking at my pitch tracker because i have to look at like priorities so the way me and my manager do it i wish i could show you guys this without i feel like i'm not allowed to like show all of this but basically um I have like my priority like it's an order of priority like I was gonna put a sponsorship in this video but I'm now like okay so just a little influencer talk before we start getting ready the way that like well at least the way me and my manager do my content is I charge different prices for mentions in a vlog versus in a regular video because my vlogs do crazy numbers consistently so if you want that type of exposure then you have to pay for that you get what I'm saying because they just it doesn't it just doesn't make sense so i was gonna try to see if i could involve something in this vlog but nobody for one nobody paid for that for two none of these things will fit in this week's vlog so because you guys know like i don't like to do like 
takeaways and do a sponsorship i like for it to flow within the vlog so if it's like clothing okay then we can just add a try and haul or if it's like an outfit oh i'm going somewhere and here's the pieces that are sponsored for my outfit like i don't like to be like i'm actually about to do all of this but before i do that let me show you this vacuum like no if i have a vacuum sponsorship which i actually do have a vacuum sponsorship coming up which is really exciting but if i have a vacuum sponsorship then i will probably start my vlog off like if it has to be in the beginning of a vlog then we're probably going to start the vlog off cleaning so it makes sense you know what i mean it just takes a little it takes a little bit more thought to do it but like it's worth it and it's more enjoyable for the viewers in my opinion um because i watch a lot of youtube too matter of fact i'm literally watching um mo beauty right now um i'm watching her weekly vlog while i wait to be able to upload my vlog but anyways okay i'm like so getting off track so we are gonna do hair and just get ourselves together because we need it my lips are so sunburnt if you're wondering like they're just so sunburnt my forehead is so sunburnt i'm surprised my i don't think my body started peeling yet but it's going to because sunburnt like i, I mean my body might not be that bad but yeah so give me a few minutes all right y'all so i'm in my this is like my filming room but i just call this like my beauty room because i do everything in here i hope y'all can't see my junky ass floor clear in the background but all right so here's my hair greasy so grown out so let's just take a look at a tape in so you guys can see how much growth i've had in how long has it been five almost six weeks so you can see that's the tape and this is my hair it was once all the way to my root so i would say i've got about a little less than half an inch that's not a full half an inch so what i use to remove my tape ins oh my god my hair i haven't like been taking care of it either so let's hope my hair isn't like tangled up um, I use the Skin Protect from Bold Hold, and I know that's probably really weird to you because this is a lace wig product. It's something about the alcohol that's in here that really helps loosen up that tape. So I'm just going to part my hair in the back like that and then clip my hair up. Hold on. I have so many little clips just everywhere. It's ridiculous. But you just want to spray it like right on top of the tape. You don't have to spray it all down the hair. I saturate mine really, really well because I just don't have time. Like I want them to come right out. And usually like once I spray this on, they typically peel right apart. And you don't want to be pulling on your hair. If it's not peeling right apart, then use some, I mean, use a real solvent. I don't know what kind of glue you, tape you're using, but this always takes, see it's spraying on my hair, not on the tape. This always loosens up my tape really, really easily. Like you can see it's peeling, like it's literally pulling right off. And then I just kind of get my fingers in between the two pieces of tape. Um, and then as you can see, the tape just comes right off and then boom. So now let's look at the tape and see if there's any of my hair on there. I don't know about y'all, but I don't see a single strand. So that's why when people are like, oh, I'm surprised there's not like, there's usually like a couple from shedding. Maybe it's on this back piece, hold on. People are always like, oh, tape ins, like pull your hair out. I personally never had that experience, but my stylist also, like this is her specialty and she stresses to me, stresses the maintenance key to me as far as, you know, making sure you're taking care of your hair. So like using the proper tools and, you know, all right, I need to spray a little more on this one. Like, you know if something is pulling your hair, then just relax a little bit and be patient with it. Boom. So here's this nothing. There's the second one. Nothing. So yeah, if your tape-ins are damaging your hair, I would say it's either A, your stylist, or B, it's you. Or some people's hair just isn't good with these. Who knows? So I just finished taking everything out. Ball head again. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, you know, my natural hair has come a long way since the chop. I mean, it's obviously greasy and full of all this stuff, but um, I wanted to show everybody I have a full head of hair. 
clearly there's no length breakage from the straightening you would definitely be able to tell um but i i got a trim i get i'm getting a trim on thursday when i go back um obviously my ends are like gross right now but if we can just let me get a good chunk just to kind of show um so we can look at my ends and see how they're looking mm. You look pretty okay to me yeah um so i'm just gonna kind of split my hands so you guys can see there's no bald spots because i know that's, i'm telling you guys the the health of your hair was everyone's big question so i just want to show you so yeah and no my head doesn't hurt nothing sore so Let's go downstairs and get to our, oh, I wanted to show you guys how much hair came out. So this is all of the hair after combing all the residue out. This is about, let me ball it up so you can see it a little bit better. This is about the size of the amount of hair that came out. Now that's gonna look like a lot until I tell you that, until you remember that I had them in for six weeks. So this is about how much your hair would shed in six weeks i feel like so yep because you know when your hair sheds it gets stuck in all that tape so all right let's go wash this hair and then while i'm in the shower i'm gonna show you guys what i'm gonna do to my skin and stuff too because like i said we are just doing so much prep wow i haven't been able to do like a slick back in a while Whew. Alrighty, friends so we're in my shower or in my bathroom um let me show you what i'm going to be putting on my hair so i am completely out of my bondi boost okay, so i was using this remember um where is my hold on uh, i had a mask from them that i wanted to show you guys i've talked about it before if you don't remember but i'm completely out of it now so i can't even use the shampoo and conditioner because I'm out of the shampoo and the deep conditioner. I never really used the regular conditioner. I really just used the deep conditioner from that a lot. But like I said, I'm out of it now. So um, I'm going to be using my Olaplex that I bought. I feel like I'm missing something. I am. Where's my number three? No, that's right here. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, this is not. If you are looking for like hair growth, this definitely doesn't like make my hair like the shampoo and conditioner, I feel like, or whatever, it was more so the shampoo and the deep conditioner that I really, really liked from this brand, Bond, Bondi Boost. It's Australian. And I really that's what I used the entire time I've been growing my hair out, like for the past three, four months. Wow, my hair is so long. <gasps> oh, wow, and it's like greased up and I like don't hate it. Hmm. Let's see how my curls come when we wash my hair. That's where we're gonna see. I really don't care if they come back or not. I, I think we've had that honest moment where I've told you guys like, I don't really care if my hair curly. Literally don't care if, I, if people are like, oh, it's heat damage. You can't train your hair to be straight. And I'm like, that's fine. As long as my hair isn't breaking off, it can be heat damaged. I'm gonna call it heat train. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, so that's what I was using then. Um, I don't have the deep conditioner anymore because I used it all. And they have a really good oil that I was using too. So. What I'm about to put in my hair now is the Olaplex number zero. I'm gonna do this first, put this all in, let it sit for like five or 10 minutes. Yeah, leave on here. I'm supposed to put this in dry hair, but it is what it is. Then I'm gonna use the number three. I'm gonna add that in on top. I'm gonna leave it in for like 25, 30 minutes. The longer, the better. At least that's what my stylist told me. Then I'm going to get in the shower and wash my hair with Olaplex's number four. And um, I've been using the this instead of the conditioner. So maybe I'll like mix them or I don't know. And then I've never used this leave-in. It's a styling cream, but we'll probably use it tonight because I'm gonna put my hair in like a bun, but I'm gonna like oil it up. It's not gonna be like clean anymore. Um, I'm just gonna like oil it up really, really good with that and the, the Olaplex oil. That's all upstairs though, because styling products. So 
Yeah, I guess I'll let you guys watch me do this. It's the Tiffany's and bottles of bubbles. Girls with tattoos who like getting in trouble. Lashes and diamonds, ATM machines. Find myself all of my favorite things. Been through some bad, I should be a savage. Who would have thought it turned me to a savage? Rather be tied up with calls and my strings. Buy my own checks like I ain't right, what I sing. Yeah. Paris, stop watching my neck. shower nice moisturized clean face i did end up using some different products um because i forgot i got these in the mail um instead of my usual bar soap i use this necessaire body wash i believe this is in the eucalyptus yeah and then i also use their body serum now i've never used this before i used to use their body wash this really cool really really cool i put it on before i put my moisturizer on i didn't use their body lotion because i'm still on my fenty i'm almost out of it so i might start using that soon but anyway so that's what i used um so here's the hair so our texture has definitely loosened up quite a bit i have much more of like a i don't really have any ringlets now obviously my hair isn't fully dry but usually by this point like I would have some ringlets so there's definitely uh heat damage for sure um but as far as like thickness and the way my hair feels I, I couldn't really tell a difference washing it the only place that i know for sure that i have breakage like i know for a fact is my soft spot that i was telling you guys about this spot always breaks off in my hair it's done this my entire life um anytime like i can straighten my hair one time well, it kind of looks like it's trying to come back now. doesn't look that bad, but yeah. So I'm going to go upstairs, put my hair in a bun, put some oils and stuff in it, and then we're going to chill out. I said I was going to go to my mom's house tonight, but girl, I'm tired and it's late. No, ma'am, no, ma'am. All right, y'all. So I just came back in here, straightened my hair. It's not like done because there's nothing slicking in. I just have a bunch of oil in it. Um... So, yeah, um, I didn't really notice any, like, damage, um, in my hair. Like I said, there's definitely heat damage, but nothing's, like, breaking except my little soft spots. And then I have one little piece, not this, I cut that. Um, there's another piece of my sideburn that's right there that it's not, it's not broken off. It is, like, completely straight. Like, it is heat damage. Like, it's straight, straight. So, and that's because even before I was doing the tape-ins, I was wearing my hair in this bun and I would blow dry those pieces straight. But it's only this one, it's not this side, so. Mm -hmm. But other than that, hair is fine to me. I'm fine with that. So, yep, I'm about to chill. I think I'm gonna go um, downstairs, make a hookah. I have a green juice I need to drink. I've been juicing today. You guys know I always kind of do this like detox when I come off of vacation because I be going hard, drinking all that liquor, eating all that food. Just gotta get my body back on track, especially because I'm going on another trip in a week. And I you can't just keep going hard. You have to have some balance to things. So yep, skin is super shiny, but it looks healthy, so that's good. Pretty pretty. Hey guys, it's later in the day. It's Tuesday. I'm about to go get my nails done. Um, so this is what I'm wearing, just a casual fit. Y'all know I love these um, wide leg pants. These are from my outfit online. They're in a medium. I definitely could have used a small, um, but I'll probably just end up getting these taken in. I have on a snood bodysuit. I have my hair in a slick back bun. I'm carrying my little Fendi bag um, i'm wearing my christian dior sandals because i'm just getting my nails done i don't need to look that nice i'm wearing my chanel studs um for arm candy i have cartier and louis and then on this arm for my watch i'm wearing my mondrian from jbw i love the all gold with this outfit so and then i'm gonna wear my nude mask so yeah let's go get our nails done Hey guys, so I just got back from the nail shop. 
um i went super duper just simple after that nail break thing i was like oh it's time for me to go back short but i knew i didn't want to do square i really feel like this like rounder style just looks better on my nails so um the color that i got because i did gel x nails this time um everyone you guys recommended me to do this so i got gel x nails and i'm trying to think it's different but she said like for one the length and for two gel x she's like it's literally impossible for you to break these so never say never with me <laughs> but anyway so i got these the color that they are painted is bubble bath and pretty and nude i think that's what it's called i mixed the two because bubble bath is just a little too pink for my taste um but yeah i like them you know how i know if i like my nails i i try to touch my face i like act like i'm doing my makeup but i'm like oh yeah that's how i know so yep they look good um our weekly schedule kind of got really messed up i was supposed to be going to jacksonville tomorrow but um i have to uh but i got some my mom is i don't want to like get into everything but there's just some like things that i have just to just take care of and make sure everybody's okay um so we're not going to be going to jacksonville tomorrow so yeah i don't really know like what the week is going to look like so we'll just kind of see as it goes but i'm not feeling good i started my period yet last night so technically today is day one and i'm just like not feeling it. i had to go get my nails done because i couldn't wait they looked crazy so i'm gonna change into something comfortable and go put my heating pad to my stomach and yeah so hi it's later in the night i can't lie to y'all my mood is shot uh my period is literally kicking my butt this is the worst period hey rosanna this is like the worst period i feel like i've had in my entire life i say that every time i have a bad period but you know um I'm wringing out my shisha and I'm making a hookah. This period is so bad. I can't even eat. Like every time I ingest food, my stomach does like backflips. Like it makes me sick. And I know it's my period because that like why else would that be happening? I love food. <laughs> so I'm just like going through it. Uh, I'm going to my mom's tomorrow to go check on her. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to check in. Hmm. So I will chit chat with you guys maybe tomorrow. Can't make any promises. It just kind of depends on how the day goes. But Thursday, I should definitely be able to vlog. So. Yeah. Yep, it's just one of those days, weeks. It's been a rough week, I ain't gonna lie, since I got back home. It's just been like bad news after bad news after bad news. After bad news! Ah, oh, the world is fucking ending. And I have terrible coping mechanisms, like singing stupidly. Bye. Um, this is embarrassing. Hi everyone. It's Thursday. I also know what day it was. I just got home this morning. I went to go see my mom yesterday. So sorry for not vlogging. Um, I'm about to go get my hair done. Um, I am <laughs> as bummy as bum gets for me. Like, but I'm just like not feeling it. I don't care. <laughs> this is my mood. This is what we're going with. So I just have on this t-shirt that I got from Walmart. I love these um, biker shorts. I think these are snood, if I'm not lying. Um, I did put earrings on. I have deep conditioner in my hair. Well, Olaplex, because I'm about to go get my hair done, like I said, but they say the longer you let this sit, the better. So I've had it in my hair for like an hour. So um, I have my watch, jewelry, regular stuff. So we, oh, and I'm carrying my, my like everyday Chanel. We are going to go get some coffee because i feel like i need it i'm very tired um and i need to like up my spirits just been in the dumps there's just so much going on y'all i wish i could like talk about it but 
you know, it's going to be fine. I go on a trip next week. That'll definitely up my spirits. So, um, yeah, I have this candle burning. I'm going to just let it burn all the way out. Literally, since I left yesterday, I forgot to blow it out. I'm stupid. I mean, try not to say that. I'm crazy. I made a mistake. Anywho, so, yeah, I already ordered my coffee on the app. So, let's go pick that up and then go get our hair done. Um... I think I told you guys, like, my hair texture definitely loosened up for sure. I definitely have some heat damage, but I didn't have any breakage that I could see. We're going to find out when she starts to do my hair. Um, but I, I was looking at my ends, and they looked pretty good to me, and I had a lot of new length. Like, my hair is, like, here. So, yeah. My lips are so dry. It's because they're sunburnt, y'all. Don't judge me. Oh, I need a mask. So, um, let's go. Here's so the first step is coffee. I cannot believe. Of course, that order from somewhere that I have to go inside. Um, I can't believe I'm in public with treatment in my hair and a freaking extra large t-shirt on. This is embarrassing. But if you remember in my video, I told you, he ain't gonna show up every day. I, it's impossible. You're going to have your days. Today is my day. But I'm going to feel real good once I get my hair done. I already know it. So. Hi. Hey. bag secured. Um, so I got a pumpkin cold brew. But I got it with light cream, light, light foam, sweet, whatever. And instead of um, regular vanilla, I, didn't, I got sugar free. So the normal grande drink is about 250 calories. So they say, so I say 300. <laughs> but this probably brings it down about two. Maybe a little less, but I doubt it. But I got this yesterday and I liked it. So this one's like way sweeter. Oh, what the heck? So now we're going to get our hair done. You know, although I'm in a really bad mood, I feel like I look really pretty. So that's making me feel a little bit better. Ciao. I don't know if it's my period and then everything that's going on. Like this was just a rough week. Like I had a lot of health issues going on with my family. Everyone is okay. Thank God. So it's nothing like that. Um, luckily. Um, but it, it's just, you know, you know how that goes. Um... So I was able to go spend some time with my mom and then I'm gonna have her come up. She is gonna drive up here on Saturday because her sister came and my grandma came. So I'll visit her and see her. So I'm like, okay, um, unfortunately I couldn't stay that long. Um, so she's gonna come up here on Saturday, I think. We're gonna try to do that. And then I can just take them all out to lunch and we can just have a good time. Oh, I hate thinking about stuff. <laughs> I want a new car. I hate this freaking car. I'm lying. I don't hate this car. I love this car to death. I just, I'm over the little car. Like, I've always driven pretty small cars. I've never had a truck, and I'm, I'm, I want a truck. Like, I'm, I need a truck. I need something I can just tower over everyone in. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's go get our hair taken care of. So that I can feel pretty again. And then me and Kyra and Jeremiah are going to dinner tonight. We're going to the garden room. So I've been to the garden room before, but I haven't been when they had food. They didn't have food when I used to go. It was just like for cocktails. And they I think they might have had like a few tapas, but it wasn't, they didn't have a food menu. So I heard the food isn't that great, but like Kyra's been really wanting to go to the garden room. So I like stayed up on open table till midnight when a new day loaded up. I booked this reservation for us like two months ago. I feel like it's, I booked this a long time ago. Um, but I'm really excited because she's never been and it's super cute. So I really want to wear pink. I have these crazy outrageous shoes that I would really like to wear. But I don't know if, um, I don't know if I can like pull them off. So I might have to make an adjustment to the outfit I thought I was going to wear. Cause I just I just don't know if it's gonna be too much you know what I mean we'll see um, uh, so yeah anyways um, 
so that's what we're doing tonight i'm excited um i haven't seen my girl well we did just see each other on sunday but i don't know just be seeing like i, I don't be seeing my friends so much like gosh be working and then i've been out of town too so that's probably what it is but i'm excited to take her i know she's gonna love it so we're pausing the fun part to show you guys look at how much my hair has grown i'm gonna insert when she straightened my hair last time so you can just see but how long has it been six weeks six weeks of five and a half yeah five and a half. that's crazy growing hair mm -hmm. say it again miss <laughs> me Okay, <laughs> no falling curls over no. here. All right, y'all, so we just finished with my hair. I know you can't really see it right now, but when we get to the house, I'll show it to you better. Um, I ended up using, this is a curlier texture. I wouldn't call it curly. I mean, it's called deep wave, but I didn't want curly hair because I just, I wasn't, I'm not gonna wear it curly, but I wanted something with a little bit more like texture to it because that silky straight like it was just too hard for me to like blend my hair with that constantly so we did this so it it looks so good it's much more frizzier but that's what i needed because my hair is naturally frizzy it looks so good we did highlights again but we did a darker color kind of something more fall appropriate um i don't know if you guys can really see it this side kind of has fallen already i'll have to like recurl that but yeah super pretty obviously uh, this is sleek down so much because i'm not putting i won't let her straighten we won't straighten or do anything right there because that's my like soft spot and um i don't want it breaking off more than it already has what are you doing more than it already has so yeah Kalia did that. I will have my stylist and where I got the hair from linked down below. Um, I showed the tag on camera, but it's from a brand. It's called um, Raw Luxury by Lauren, I believe. She has all texture. She has kinky straight, kinky, curly, wave, deep wave, body wave, straight, whatever, whatever you're into, she's got it. So for my natural girls who need hair with a little bit of more texture, she has kinky straight tapes, all kinds of tapes. So like I said, I'll link my stylist. My stylist currently isn't accepting new clients, but I'll put her down there just in case you guys want to know for future reference. So oh, I feel like I look like crazy. Why do I? I feel like my camera is like washing me out. Like my lips look ashy. I mean, they are a little ashy, but like, dang. Anyway, so we're about to go home. I have to get ready for dinner in about an hour. If I'm gonna make, if I'm gonna be on time, which I'm gonna be on time, I need to text Kyra right now and be like, um, are we gonna be on time today? Chip, chip, chop, chop. Hey y'all. Okay, so don't be mad at me, but dinner was like a fail. I didn't vlog because, so we showed up to the the garden room. It was me and Jeremiah. Kyra was late because she had things to do today. But then we get to the garden room. Our reservation was for 10 o'clock. They actually stopped serving food at 10 o'clock, but no one knew that. So when me and Jeremiah went to order food, they were like, oh, our kitchen is closed. So we just ended up leaving. I took photos there, but that's it. I would show you guys the outfit, but I'm not gonna be posting the photos for like another week and a half because I have other photos lined up to go up before it. So yeah, but the outfit was super cute. I'll show you my shoes because I definitely tease them on Instagram. I finally got to wear my Mac and Mac. Um, these are the crystal bow tie shoes. Um, I found these on ShopBot because these are literally sold out everywhere. These are in the pink satin. So like out of my comfort zone, but they were so freaking cute. They're definitely like my little like pop out piece to a degree. Um, my hair is kind of frizzy now, but it's good because my extensions are frizzy too because the texture is like my hair. So it literally just looks like my hair. Rosanna is going dumb by my feet. Let me show y'all. Are you okay, mama? Yeah. 
Yeah, mama. What's up, girl? What? I'm surprised she didn't fall on the floor. What? Not my feet on the camera. Uh-uh. Y'all know I got wicked witch of the west toes. What is up, mama? Yeah. You miss me? I missed you too. Trying to rub on me. Anyways, we had a good night, but I didn't vlog, so I apologize. Of course, once I start talking to y'all, she falls. What I'm trying to show you. Look at her. Girl, you are thirsty. Thirsty for attention. Anyways, but we had a really good night. We ended up going to Pasha to eat. So, yeah. I'm gonna take my makeup off, wrap my hair, and get in the bed because I got a lot of work to do tomorrow. This vlog, this week's vlog is probably gonna be ass. And I apologize now, but it was a rough week, but maybe it'll get better. Fingers crossed, so bye. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. I have so much to do. Um, so I just got up, it's like 8.30. I'm about to make some tea um, and then I have a video to edit because I need to make this video go live. It's my what I eat in a day that I'm super excited about so that's going to go live today and then later on this evening I'm filming my finally my um, self-care or yeah self-care routine basically and then tomorrow I'm filming my morning weekend routine. Girl these videos are so overdue. Ciao. I just I don't know. I don't know what I'd be doing. Like, I, but I have to get these videos out because I go out of town next week and I need content while I'm gone. I can't keep playing y'all. So um, I just have on this Skims bandeau and then um, these sweatpants are from Boohoo. I believe they're a pretty little thing. Boohoo. These are like my favorite sweats. You guys know they just fit so good. I don't like these sweatpants i can't do thick banded sweatpants because of my my waist is so short so this is like perfect it fits my butt nice but they're comfy and baggy like <sighs> these are like the kind of sweatpants i like but i can it's very rare that i can like find them in melee so i'm about to make some tea and just literally grind out all day today. Luckily for the videos that I'm filming, I don't have to have makeup on, so that's good. I have plenty of Instagram content stacked up. I got some great photos last night. Oh, I wrapped my hair. That's why it looks so nice this morning. It needs a little oil, um, like a little bio soak or something, because since these are like curly, since this is curly hair, um, it's a little like dry, frizzy, kind of like with my hair. So like the textures are just perfect. But yeah, so I have to do that. So cute. Oh, let that steep for a few minutes. But yeah, so that's what we're doing today. Um, I don't, I don't know what else to say. So sorry, I know that y'all this vlog is probably janky, but tomorrow should be fun because I'm going to be with my mom and stuff. So I'm definitely going to try to vlog all day. That way this vlog can at least be like 45 minutes or so. So don't hate me. Don't hate me. So yeah. Y'all, I'm on FaceTime with Kayla. Say hey, Kayla. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was telling her the story about this hat that I bought. Y'all don't know the story, but we're about to. I just. You broke your nail? No, I just sliced my hand open. Oh, my God. Be oh. careful. See, this is why I can't be trusted with sharp stuff. Goodness gracious. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, please be careful. Like, why do they take this stuff like this? Oh, it's bleeding so bad. Bro, people are crazy. I gotta wait till you get off camera to tell you what just happened. You said what? Okay, well, let's see if it's navy, like I'm pretty sure it is. Let me see. Oh. It's freaking navy. Navy as hell. Let's see if it fits my fat head. Oh, yeah, it does fit. It's okay. It's not. Oh, let me stop before I get blood on it. It's cute though. That's what it looked like. Oh, the Chanel bucket hat you were yeah. talking about. Yeah. Oh, it's real cute. You got you got a white bathing suit for it? I do have a white one. That's why I'm like, I'm gonna have to wear this with the white bathing suit, not black. Cause you see how navy yeah. this is? It's like blue. Yeah. 
Blue blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I just finished with my video. Well, I'm almost finished. I have like two more things to do to it. So pretty much done with that. I showed you guys the hat that I got. Oh, I ordered this from JD because I could never find it in stock. Also, I thought it was black and white and it's navy and white. So like, that's kind of a bummer. Let me see what she wrote me. It says, Dear Aaliyah, thank you so much for shopping with JD Finds. We're excited to have sourced you this super cute Chanel Coco Beach hat. We hope you love it. Please reach out anytime you're after any luxury designer pieces. So you guys know if you're looking for anything that you just literally cannot find, um, she does sourcing. So it is extra. So I suggest finding what you need to find first. <laughs> but if you can't find what you're looking for, then she's awesome. So um, I am about to get ready. I have a meeting at 2.30 with some folks I gotta go meet with. So, uh, I'm like rushing, I'm starving. I guess I can't eat till I get back. I have to film a video tonight. I'm filming my um, self-care routine tonight. Um, like basically what I do to like relax and self-care and just show you guys about creating an ambiance for you to feel your best self and to feel good and you know, to pour into yourselves. I think it's gonna be a really nice video. I've been planning it for a while. I just haven't been able to sit down and film it. I got this thing for it in my car. For my phone anyways y'all don't care so yeah that's what i'm doing i have to go do my hair and like well not do it but just kind of spruce it up a little bit and um there's like one big chunk of brown right here that's funny yeah okay, i'm gonna head out let me do a quick little ootd so look i should have on heels but i'm not okay i'm just not i have other things i have to do today i'm not putting heels on so i have this bodysuit on this is from zara um, no bra because it's just how I move. Um, my pants are from my outfit online. They're wide legs, super cute. My shoes are my Fendi slides that I just got. I should put on heels because these pants are kind of long, so they're kind of slouchy. They're like dragging the floor, but it just is what it is. I really don't care that much. My bag is my little top handle. Um, just wearing like basic jewelry, um, my Louis. And then Chanel, and then I just have a little bit. I put on some um, color corrector under my eyes because I was looking dead. And I was like, wow, I cannot look like this in front of these people, so. It's not like super professional, y'all. I definitely could have just came in like leggings, but y'all know I don't really. I'd be trying to put myself together a little bit. So yeah, we're about to head out. Cause it's time for that. I posted my video, it went live. So, yeah, you all. I'll talk to y'all. I'm gonna vlog after we're done at the meeting because I have to go run a few errands. So, and by run errands, I mean we're gonna get some coffee and go to Target. Literally, I seen that meme and I was like, that is a perfect depiction of me and my life. So, yeah, we're gonna go to Target and maybe Bed Bath, Bed Bath and Beyond. I the only thing I hate about extensions is your hair is underneath in the back. And these little short pieces always be hanging out. But like, can we talk about the growth of my hair though? Mm. Oh my God, y'all. Don't be mad at me. Oh shit, I'm tripping on my sleep. A girl, I fell asleep. Girl, I came home from my meeting. I made some wontons and I went to sleep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So it's eight o'clock. I didn't do anything I was supposed to do. Oh my God. But it's okay. My mom isn't coming anymore because she said she's just not feeling good. Um, she said she's just like really like lethargic type feeling. So she's not coming anymore. So I guess I have all day tomorrow to work. <sighs> if I do cook though, I got this Hello Fresh stuff. And I think we will make meatballs if we if we do cook i don't honestly know if we're going out but i'm gonna cook some dinner i'm hungry so i have this hello fresh this is not sponsored they're sponsoring my next vlog though mm -hmm. but um i actually like really like this stuff i think i'm actually gonna start buying hello fresh again i'm trying to find something to watch on youtube so i'm making meatballs with bulgogi sauce and it has green beans and rice 
Um, so I'm just getting all of the ingredients out of the bag. So I am watching Jubilee Middle Ground. Jubilee is one of my favorite YouTube channels. Just really uh, interesting. I love, let me pause this because you can't hear me. Um, Jubilee is one of my favorite YouTube channels, especially when they do their middle ground episodes. I love hearing different people's perspectives and views on topics. I feel like that's how you become a very well versed and rounded person is when you can listen and hear other people's perspectives and, you know, take away what you need to from it. So these videos are extremely interesting because they're usually on very controversial topics. Like this one is cis and trans athletes come together and talk about what is currently happening politically with everything that's going on so it's going to be very interesting to hear a different like a group of trans athletes perspectives on what's happening and then you know um cis people's perspective on what's happening and just hearing them come together and share their thoughts i love stuff like this like these are my favorite i've literally watched every single episode they do they do all kinds of stuff they'll do like pro-life versus pro-choice like it's very entertaining to be able to see not even just entertaining i feel like it's like you like learn you know what i mean um so that's what i'm gonna watch while i cook i'm just gonna kind of let you guys like speed watch me cook i guess because girl i'm gonna crack open a bottle of wine like i don't know why i'm in that kind of a mood tonight but that is my mood i don't know if i want to drink my riesling or my bear from daisy or if i want to drink my house or do i want to wild out on that casa amigos no i'm just kidding this is totally not a freaking option <laughs> finish the meal here's what they look like the meatballs so let's see if it's good because if it's not i'm gonna be extremely disappointed but my rice is perfect this is like the first time confession i don't make good rice i don't know how to make good rice i suck at making rice that's why i just use my steamer but i made this on the stove this time so let's see if it's hitting i mean i tasted the rice the rice is perfect but i don't know about the meatballs the green beans are good it's just the meatballs mm, oh crunchy damn the bottoms are burnt but i like them somebody wrote me and said these were nasty as hell I don't know what you made, shorty. Cause this is fire. Fire. But I don't really understand how you can mess up meatballs. I like this little crema sauce. I want more of this. I'm gonna go watch Sweet Life. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, Sweet Life. I don't know if you guys are watching that on HBO Max. It's kind of like a Baldwin Hills reboot, but like more positive. Mm. So like reality TV, but not trashy. Imagine The Hills, but black. I believe Issa produced it. And you know, everything Issa touches is gold. So, yep. Mm. All right, y'all. So the change of plans. I done ate my dinner. I've been living my life. Ooh, is my Uber here? Where they at? Hold up. We are going out with Brie and Kayla on some real, real chill stuff. Oh, it's not here. I don't know why I did all that. Um, so I literally just have on leggings and sneakers. I have on my Wolford bodysuit. I've been telling y'all to get you one because you will wear it with everything. So I just have on my Wolford bodysuit with these. Oh, I'm wearing all Wolford. Wolford leggings. Um, I have on my Yeezy sneakers. I would wear my black ones, but the all black was just giving like, mmm. And then I have on my little cocoa handle just to spice it up a little bit. Um, I put on some concealer because I was like, I can't. I mean, I guess I could go bare face, but it's Saturday, Friday, Labor Day weekend. I said, okay, let me put a little something on. So I put some concealer and bronzer and stuff on. She's cute. So hopefully I vlog on my phone. And I will see y'all out. I'm waiting on my Uber because, you know, I've been drinking a little bit. So I was like, uh, not driving. <laughs> so I'm waiting on my Uber now. And then... I'll talk to y'all when we get there. Hey guys, mm, please don't be mad at me. This vlog is so all over the place. 
I apologize. A lot was going on. Ciao. Okay, so it's Sunday. I just finished filming my weekend morning routine that should be going up this week, hopefully, for you guys. It's not really a routine because, well, you'll see. I don't want to spoil the video. Um, but now I have some errands that I have to go run before, um, before the end of today uh, because we leave tomorrow for our trip. Woo, woo, woo. So I have a lot to do today. I still have another video I have to film. And then I still have some errands to run. So, yeah. Um, I'm just getting ready. I have on this Lululemon set. Well, it's not a set, but I have on this Lululemon outfit. It's so cute. This is the Align tank. I brought it in a bigger size so it wouldn't be super duper tight. And then um, I have on their joggers. These are my new favorite, like, sweats joggers. I'm going to run it up at Lulu, okay? Because they fit perfect. This is the way I like for my like sweats and stuff to fit is like, well, these are joggers, not sweats, but you get my point. They just fit really, really good. They're very flattering on the shape. Um, so yeah, uh, and I got these in a size four, if anybody cares. So I'm just putting on some jewelry because I always, I always put on jewelry whenever I'm going somewhere. Cause this is like, um here, let me come out here and show y'all the outfit. Oh, I need to put some perfume on too. This is like, Oh my God, there's a homeless person sleeping on their steps. Girl, what's up? Rosanna. What? What's wrong? What's up? Do you want me to follow you? Just sit here? Yeah. Yeah. I know. You want to hang out? Want to hang out? Yeah, come on. Let's go hang out. Come on. You wanna come sit? Oh, what did I sit on? My phone. Come on. You said you wanna hang out. Let's hang out. Come on. Thanks. What is up, girlfriend? What is up, girlfriend? She said, Mommy, you just keep leaving me. I miss you. I miss you. I really wanna kiss you, but I can't. Six, seven, eight, two, two. I don't know the fuck freaking phone number. Hey, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. Y'all are gonna be so mad at me. I mean, I like both albums. No, let me not say that. Okay, I love Donda as a complete work of art. Like the entire album to me is solid. Drake's album to me was not what I was expecting for one. For two, he definitely changed that album very last minute because it is beef with Kanye. You can tell. I'm like, certified lover boy, why is there only four love songs? What is the sad stuff? I wanted to cry. Hey, how are you? Can I get some, um, a, a grande ice cream? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. It's gonna be six dollars and four cents. Yes. Do you guys do the app yet or no? The app? Yes. Uh, if you have the barcode, I can stand for you, but I cannot stand for the barcode. Okay. So what? Barcode is like this. So not this. Uh. -uh. So you like your barcode is like this for you. So not this. Uh. -uh. So, so when? Like that, if you pre-load money onto it, you can take that. Okay. Oh, but I can't. Uh. That's so much. So. I need. I don't really know what I need. I just come to Target for vibes. Somebody's talking? Oh, no. I don't really know why I went to Target. I mean, I did want to buy an, a new toothbrush, but that was it. Okay, I feel like I could have did that somewhere else. Okay, I guess we're gonna head into Buckhead now. Ugh, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna go to Saks because they have, have, oh my god, I have 20 text messages. I have old coffee in my car because I'm a disgusting pig. What can I say? It's just vibes, just coffee and vibes, coffee and vibes. So I'm gonna stop talking because you guys don't care about this. You wanna see there. So, hopefully it's not busy. Like, I'm trying to tell myself that people are out enjoying Labor Day weekend activities that do not include shopping. 
but I also know that I'm lying to myself, so good luck to us. Okay, well that was a fail. Like, literally no shoes whatsoever. sunglasses but I could not find a pair of sandals there was literally like nothing sat like it's it's hard to explain like if you don't catch stuff right when it gets put out it's dead and done I need to get chapstick um so we're gonna run over here to Linux and to Neiman and I'll go into Fendi Fendi and Neiman and see if they have anything but if I can't find anything there, I think it's time to give up. But I got a really cute pair of sunglasses, black. Um, I've noticed that I like like thicker sides. I don't know, I feel like they, I don't know, I just, they just make my face look better to me, I don't know. So I like thicker sides on the sunglasses when I buy them, so. I got a pair of Dior sunglasses, they're really, really cute, so. Thank you. Yeah, go right ahead. Thanks so much. Have a good one. You too. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Girl, not that man asking me to take a picture with me. So what the hell? Why would I do that? So you can beat off to it tomorrow? No thank you. I don't wanna go to Cartier. No, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Stop. Really be jumping every single time. These people love them some damn Louis Vuitton. I get her, yeah. Okay, I'm just need a nice pair of sandals. Oh my goodness. See, you had a choice. <laughs> you would have been shopping with me now. Okay. So. She is the bomb. She looks even better in person. Okay. All right, y'all. So I'm back home. Let me show you what we got. Um, I wanted something to like prop y'all up on. Socks and Sephora. So I'll start with Target. Um, so I got these little cubes because I needed a few more for other like things because I already have some. Oh my God, what is this? Okay, so like I was saying, I already have some of these, but I needed a few more um, just to make like packing really, really simple and structured so my stuff's not all over the place. I got more makeup wipe removers because I needed them. Um, I got toothbrushes, remember I told you? I needed toothbrushes. And then I also got a mini wipe for travel. And then I got a bunch of different like sheet masks and a bath bomb because I'm filming, like I told, I think I told you guys, I'm filming my like self-care day routine type of thing. So um, there's products that I already use, but I wanted to show some like cheaper alternatives. That way if people don't have access to those things, I can show you some other things that are comparable. So that's everything we got from Target. Okay. Moving on to sacks, the sunglasses that I got are so stinking cute. Um, so like I said, these are from Dior. And that was a big old bug that just ran to the wall. They're all black. How cute are these? They're just big black sunglasses, kind of diva-esque. They say uh, Christian Dior down the side. I thought that was so cute. Let me put them on for you guys. Like... I feel like they're giving. 
I think they're cute. Yeah, so I got these. These are, I can't freaking see. Um, 500 even, well, before tax. Let me look in the mirror to make sure I like these. I, they look cute in the store. But they don't look cute on camera, but then again, the camera always gonna make me look cute. No, these are so cute. So cute. They look like, like 3D glasses. Look cute, heck cute. Cool, okay, so yeah, I like these. And they're really, really, really black, which I like because I'm about to be out in the tropics, child, and it's fun. So I got those from Saks. And then we went to Sephora. I still didn't get any sandals, but we went to Sephora and I read up on some stuff. I did not realize that this Tatcha Essence was $105 um, the first time I bought it. So I, I got it the second time because I ran out. And I was like, there's no way I paid that. Did y'all hear that? Anyways, I was like, there's no way I paid that much for this, but clearly I did. So I got another one of those. And then I also got this mini set because these are kind of, I don't, I have the rice cleanser, not these cleansers, but this is the moisturizer I've been using and this is the toner. So I got this mini set so I can just travel with it. Um, and I'm sure these cleansers will be fine. Um, so yeah, I got these for travel purposes only. And then I got a new number one from Olaplex because I was running out of this. I also got another number three because I'm running out of it as well. I got a, oh, sh oh, these are samples. Girl, I was like, what is this? I bought two Fenty Butter Drop refills. Love this stuff. It is so good. And then I also got another Charlotte Tilbury uh flawless filter foundation in the shade 6.5 because i have it in 6 and 5.5 i believe or i have it in two other shades but i felt like i needed i think i have this shade already no i don't okay i got it in a darker shade because um i'm about to be getting darker and darker and darker and so i got this because yeah i needed a foundation so that's everything we got at Sephora. So that is it for this vlog, you guys. I want to apologize. Okay, let me sit down and talk to y'all. I wanted to sit down and say sorry that the vlog was kind of like uh, this week. Like I said, it was a rough week. I can't lie. It was pretty stressful for me. We did have some fun, though, throughout the week. Um, but yeah, my, my mental this past week just wasn't where it needed to be but that's okay we finna go have a good time on this little trip and then i'm gonna come back and get my life together okay so thank you guys so much for um watching and always supporting me it truly truly means the world is i can't say it enough <laughs> so um yeah thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video